Good morning, Village School, and welcome to our live news program. Your newscasters are Daniel from Ms. Yulo's class. And also Gabriella from Ms. Yulo's class. Today is Friday, November 30th, 2007. It is day one. Our character education thought of the day is follow school and classroom rules. And now for a weather bug weather report. Today is expected to be mostly sunny. The current temperature is 33 degrees Fahrenheit. The high is expected to be 45 degrees Fahrenheit. The low this evening will be 28 degrees Fahrenheit. Tomorrow is expected to be mostly sunny. There will be outdoor recess today. Today's lunch will be Tony Smart Cheese Pizza. At this time, please stand for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We would like to wish Mrs. Antonowitz a happy birthday. She turns 29 over the weekend. Ah. At this time, we would like to introduce Ms. Morrison, who coordinates the Young Scholar Program. Good morning, students and staff of Village Elementary School, and thank you so much for the invitation to come today. Again, my name is Jerry Morrison. I'm the founder and the executive director of Young Scholars Institute, a nonprofit learning center for children in grades kindergarten through 12th grade located in the city of Trenton. Our nonprofit is about one block from the New Jersey State House and the State Museum, so you may have even passed it on a school trip. Boys and girls, I'm happy to be here today to let you know that our nonprofit is very uh, much appreciative of the efforts on behalf of your school to make the holiday season a joyous one for our young people. Each year for the past 10 years, I'm happy to report you have uh, made some families quite happy because you have provided food for a wonderful, wonderful holiday dinner and also presents for children in some very, very needy families. I want to tell one quick story and it is that I invited one family that was going through a very terrible time to my home for dinner uh, the day after Christmas. And they arrived and the two boys had on beautiful, beautiful garments, outer garments. Their coats were just beautiful. And I said to both of them, I said, what lovely coats you're wearing today. And they looked at me and they smiled and they said, Mrs. Morrison, you're, you're being silly. You're joking, aren't you? And I said, no, they're very beautiful coats. And they said to me, you gave them to us. They were in those presents. They were in those wrapped boxes. And then I just smiled. Well, the, what they were talking about was the presents that you provided for them. Apparently, there were beautiful coats that year for these two young boys. Those two young boys are now, um, one is still in high school and the other one has graduated from college. So I want you to know that with the books that you provide, with the games, with the toys, our young people are able to have a wonderful, wonderful time. We gather on a Saturday and we prepare all of their items to be given to the young people and their families. Their parents come, many come with cards already expressing their appreciation. Some parents cry. Some parents actually cry when they see what you have provided for them. So on behalf of Young Scholars Institute, our Board of Trustees, all of our parents and wonderful children, I say thank you. Now back to our newscasters. Before we sign off, here are a few pictures of last year's staff and Young Scholar recipients. This is Gabriella signing off. And Daniel signing off. Be sure to tune in on Monday for another edition of VES News. Have a great day and enjoy your weekend. 
Have a fantastic Friday.